Um, I got a, I got a question for you. Okay. I'm gonna ask you this question, and I want you to. to this is something that you asked me, oh, yeah. and I'm about to flip it and ask you on the podcast now. Okay. Do Do you think <laughs> Boogie Two Nine and Eight should die? <laughs> yes, I stand on it. So I stand on it. I stand on it. I stand on it. Sometimes I truly wonder what his purpose is these days. I'll be honest, I'll I would be surprised if he hasn't considered taking himself out the way his content is going. Um like I'm still hate watching from afar a little bit, kind of just seeing what the view count is looking like and, and things like that. Like I'm not I'm not clicking on the videos and watching them unless it's something like super crazy, like, oh, thinking about ending it. Oh shit, today? And then, you know, but all right. But um the stuff he's making ain't hitting. He definitely seems like he's going down downward spiral of destruction. I kind of feel like he's taken the uh the little bit of little bit of clout that he got when the documentary dropped and he's kind of riding that wave still a little bit. But once that dies down completely, he's not gonna have nothing to go off of anymore. And cause I I, I say like the same thing about like LTG is like, well, like, what are some people go? Like, are y'all just gonna hope? And pray to like when this person, like when LTG <laughs> finally kills himself, y'all gonna be happy then? Yeah. Is that what you want? And then it's like, damn, I, I kind of do want Boogie to just like go though. So, but yeah, I think I think I think he should perish. Um, I don't even watch his videos anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe because they're not really suggested on my. I don't know if I unsubscribed. Mm -hmm. I don't think I did because I'm not an unsubscriber. But um, I look at Mark. his videos and they just don't be hitting. Um, and he has I saw, uh, the last video he was talking about his uh, like one of his his girlfriends. I think it might have been mistake, right? I Whoa! I'm sorry. That was <gasps> mad. Life. Yeah, I'm sorry. That was an accident. But go ahead. Um, yeah, it was like the the last video I saw. Like, am I recommended? That I like was like, do I want to click on this? Probably not. Um, when he was talking about like, yo, his girlfriend's just cheating on him or whatever. It's like even like just thinking back to that documentary, it's like, bro, you like twenty two and this nigga just like forty eight. Well, you know how them young bitches are, man. That nigga I mean, like yeah, him. but but he's he's the, massive. The, the sex uh sex worker said she she stopped doing it. <laughs> after having sex with him bro do you know how you made fucking... her you made a woman change careers because your body was so disgusting bro. and i don't mean to fat shame or anything but there is rules upon rules upon rules and it took me a lot of time to find a stick i am now married with two kids and sleeping with boogie is one of the reasons i quit sex work oh do you know how awful that is that you so fucking fat that you made a hooker quit hooking. It takes a lot, and I mean a lot, for a hooker to quit hooking. And she fucked you and said, I'm gonna go find me a husband. And she did, <laughs> goddammit. She did. She went and found her husband. She said, I can't do this shit. That if this is the worst it can get, then I gotta get my life together starting now, bro. That's fucking wild. I mean, you could say Boogie saved your life in that regard. <sighs> she said, "Yeah, we yeah. lift up his stomach." You said it, the try. He said trying to find his dick was a fucking nightmare. And you know, like, and, and you know, it's just like uh, for you to describe ah! anything as a nightmare. Like that means, and I know you. Uh, she's probably seen a lot as well. And for you to be like peak worst sexual encounter she's ever had in her, I would assume months, possibly years, of hooking, it is you. Yeah. I feel like he'd be trying to like, like just wear that shit as like a badge of honor, or like just tell these stories, like oh it's not that, like ha ha look at me, laugh at me, no such thing as bad publicity, yada yada yada. Like you he's trying to that. like. Yeah, but he's, but he's trying to make it seem like he's not phased. Is that womanizing me? Sure, I don't really care. Um, I'm a 48-year-old man. I never got to fuck a model. This let me fuck a couple of models. Is that wrong? 
I know this nigga want to kill himself. I know he did. I know you gotta think did. about it. Um, now let's look. Let's look at Boogie's girlfriend, as Brett <laughs> says. Yes! Oh, my God. Oh, I gotta get this on camera. What are you doing? I'm, I'm cleaning. In here? Yeah, it's a mess. Yeah, it's kind of a kind of a lost cause. You could clean anything else in the house, but I don't want you. Like you were inches away from that very expensive Shiv and Dragon statue. You know that, right? Yeah, I was gonna be careful with it. Bruh. That's not like a skit. Yeah, but I know it is, but huh. that's his huh. girlfriend. Huh. Let me, uh, that's his girlfriend? Uh, that, that that's the one that she that's the one that she cheat that says she cheated on him? Like what video is that? Uh Boogie's girlfriend cheats and she can't get away with it. I mean yeah. I already okay. immediately knew that. You know what I mean? Yeah. The sad life of Boogie two nine nine eight. This shit has four million views, but uh he's going back to this content now. I don't know if he's gonna flag he has a flag videos, right? Uh the fine flag. Like the shit that LTG does. You no. mentioned you mentioned him, he No. Okay. So look at this shit. So he's going back to this shit, trying every Mountain Dew flavor he could find. <sighs> Back in 2017, I made a video saying I was done with soda forever. Turns out that wasn't true. So welcome to my Mountain Dew tier list where I try every flavor of Mountain Dew that I can find. And let me start. I'm gonna say this. Listen. If I would've saw this video when it came out, mm -hmm. I would've watched it. <laughs> I like fucking lists. I wanna see, well, I wonder what this nigga's gonna rank this shit. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I, was like, I wonder what this nigga gonna rate this shit. I would have watched this video. I'm at. Let me hundred with y'all. When this podcast is over, I'm gonna go watch that video. Cause I want to see what he has to say. And if Baja Blast is not in S tier, I'm gonna unfollow. yeah. Come on now. I'm gonna unfollow him with Mountain Dew Zero, oh, wait, which is an average C. Shit. I drink this every day as my source of caffeine. How does it taste? Oh. Like carbonated poison. Next up is the one that everyone goes crazy for so for some like reason. He, and I feel like now he's just in such a weird place. Like he's super desperate to find something that will stick. Like even like the the video from two weeks ago it says this channel has died. Parentheses drama will fix it. So he knows that by saying things or doing things that people find controversial that'll keep people's names keep his name in people's mouths that's the only way for him to stay relevant yeah so but it's like as far as the videos go like you see they they're fucking all over the place yeah ranking to every mountain dew r.i.p xbox my girlfriend is cheating on me mystery box sent to my house ps5 francis francis loves power world like he just is doing shit yeah and i think he's at like the the end of his like creative fucking uh like he can't think of shit else no more so he's just doing what everybody's doing that's crazy i, I need I to see it. what he ranks this, this baja blast though baja blast this one used to be exclusive to taco bell but now you can get it at walmart during most summers this nigga drinking that shit out of wine glass oh my god that is so sweet uh, i haven't been diabetic for like five years but i i don't believe that feel like I'm about to be right after this video. On the Mountain Dew website, it says this is supposed to taste like tropical flavors and stuff. It just tastes like floor cleaner to me. Yeah, this tastes like Baja bullshit to me. I now know why they call it Baja Blast, because you got to be a sheep. I got you with the dislike. <laughs> <laughs> he got to be trolling, right? He got to be fucking trolling, you... right? Let me see. Let me let me go through the comments a little bit. No, 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 no. Does he even have comments? Yeah. Cheers. Wine glass. Neck of the gods. Great comedy. And this is the content I subscribe for. Production quality went up. No one said anything about Baja Blast in these comments. It's either people saying like, "Oh my!" It's either the boogie supporters are hype, or the niggas that's hating is hating. They don't Baja, even care about what he's saying. Baja Blast is my favorite. Mandatory at Taco Bell, but met to the OG Green. Yuck. Uh, the floor cleaner tastes good with tacos. Awful without it. Is, 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 is that. that a debate? It's like Baja Blast mm -hmm. trash without Taco Bell? I don't think so. Hey. But, I, but I feel like the people that are saying that is the niggas that probably don't drink Mountain Dew. 
at all. I don't really drink Mountain Dew other than Baja Blast, my guy. I mean, I, I tried all the different variations. To me, I do, I do think the the blue one, whatever the fuck that is, the blue one goes super crazy. But Baja Blast will always be like my go-to. If I like when they started selling in stores, I stopped up. I remember when Halo Three came out. Me and my homeboy like marathon the whole game. Like we beat the whole game. That's when you could both play together in the campaign. Mm -hmm. I had a whole fucking six pack of twelve of Code Red, and I itched for a week. <laughs> you get your ass a rash. Yeah, I itched for a week. I drank the whole six pack of Code Red. Yeah, I probably get your ass. Uh, probably itching off the the red dye. Man. Whatever the fuck they put in there. But if people want to, like I said, I think this is probably a satire video. Like, I don't think he's doing nothing for real. Like, he ain't doing it like a uh, Badlands. Yeah. He just, he's just trying to trying to hop on the the ranking blank. Like, oh, let's rank Hot Cheetos today. His fat ass probably wouldn't do that, but. Huge, you know. huge nigga YouTube. Badlands number yeah. one in the game. I don't give a fuck what anybody say. Yeah, I think Bad, Badlands is like, as far as like, yeah. Big, I just big niggas doing big niggas. Well, technically, on paper, it's a uh, Nicocado avocado, but I can't look at him. I don't. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Also, it don't matter. Badlands. I just worry about him because he can't stand up straight. He he labors now. I need. But to... I think I think Badlands. Well, I can't say that he's like that old. I think he is, he probably around the same age as Boogie, like late forties. I just need him to lose a couple, man. You know what I'm saying? Okay, hip hop, man. Tell that nigga to lose a couple. I'm not shitting on Badlands. Badlands is my nigga. You already know. Badlands is 54 years old. All right. So, honestly, I say it's probably about time for him to stop doing this shit for real. But he can't because it's how he it's how he makes a living. So he makes his money. I think he. Yeah. I think his wife does. Did you tell me his wife does real estate? Uh, she does something like that. I don't remember exclusively. I mean, I think that'd be okay, but uh. I think with the amount of like like the amount of money that he'd be bringing in doing this shit, he'd kind of be a fool to stop. Unless it literally gets to the point where he had like a stroke or a heart attack. Well, Theo, he's they like, already have a um a documentary on Boogie Two Nine Nine Eight because he's washed up. Uh, it got four million views because people hate that nigga. But he did it to himself with the fucking I like he he created self drama where. I'm oh what was me? What? See, I think just real quick. I think Cold Red was good when it first came out, but as time passed, I was like, all right. I just liked it because it was new, but the blue one stuck with me. But it's my uh, but you know I bought the show Badlands, but we get off topic. Um, yeah. But you so you think Boogie should just? I mean, I is either that or he. Because like I I be saying like like I said, I, I say. Like, what are people's end goal when they be hate watching and stuff like that? Like, do you want them killing themselves? Like, with Boogie, I'm hate watching. I'm I'm with this train until it derails. Like, I'm like, even if like said, whether I, I'm not, I will never be on Boogie's side. I'm on this train until Boogie ends his life. Like, I don't care. I'm like, I, I'm. I say as messed up as it sounds. Like, Boogie, if he, if he gonna play the game of I'll be the butt of everybody's joke, then I want to be. I want to be there for the final joke. That's fine. I, I can't. I don't give a damn. He he's because he's doing it to himself. You can't you can't sit here and keep yapping he, and yes. saying like, like like every time something goes wrong, you want to cry about it and be like, oh, I'm sad, but also keep coming back to the channel to hate on me even more because it gives me clicks, it gives me views, it gives me revenue, and like I'm gonna have some negative to say about that. I hope something negative happens to you. You know? Yeah. So if you if you gonna lean into it and 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 like hey shit I'm here with you I'm right there with the lean I hold you up with a knife. Man, listen. If Good thing I'm, I changed my name to Brett on here. I'm always with the <laughs> nobody with the glasses. Nobody's gonna recognize who the fuck you are anyway. You know what I'm saying? They like they probably people saying they probably look and say who the fuck is this guy? But um, correct. But. All right, well, I just wanted to ask you that. Also, just because I know it would kill some time and it would probably make a good little video. So, Brad thinks Boogie2998 should kill himself. I think it's inevitable. That he's just going to die. I mean, say he would kill himself, dies. 
He said, even in that documentary, he was like, you know, I ain't got that much longer to live. I'm fat as fuck. I'm on mushrooms all the time, and I ain't changing my life. Man, I'm not changing my diet. So, hey, all I'm doing is, you know. All right. If it happens, they can't blame me.